London. That's where we're going first of all. There, thousands of people are marching through uh, the centre of the city against the Conservative government and its austerity policies. It's planned to be the biggest such demonstration this year, in fact, with organisers saying they're expecting around 70,000 people to attend. Protesters are marching, as you can see on the map there, along the uh, River Thames, starting from the Bank of England and finishing at Westminster. Artist Daniel Hawkins is joining me uh, live now from that march as well. It's uh, been a busy one, hasn't it? Hi, Daniel. Hi, Kevin. It absolutely has been. This is the culmination of a series of protests the Conservative government has faced since coming to power in May's general election. But this is by far the best organised, the biggest, and as you can probably hear behind me, the most noisy. Uh, the march has now reached Downing Street. Uh, there is quite a heavy police presence, as you can see. Uh, because of previous disturbances and also uh, a group of campaigners who are going to try and talk to now to understand why they are here. Um, Anne, hello. I understand you've come all the way from Southampton. Can you tell us a bit more about why you're here? I'm campaigning against the closure of a council-run care home in Southampton. My stepfather's there. He's 92 years old, Second World War veteran. Uh, they're closing the home and they want to kick him out. And where will your father go if this happens? At the moment, I have no idea. But wherever he goes, he will be expected to pay an extra £1,000 every four weeks compared to what he's paying already. Is that something he'll be able to afford? Not really, no. No, not unless I sell his home. And thanks so much for your comments here and good luck with your campaign. So as you can see, Kevin, uh, much mainstream media has portrayed people at these protests as anarchists or left-wing extremists. But there is a really diverse group of people here from students, trade unionists, uh, ordinary workers, both private and public sector, women's rights activists, and activists uh, campaigning on a grassroots level for causes they feel strongly about. Uh, the march is stretching all the way from Parliament Square, still going at the mall. So uh, high turnout here, Kevin, and we'll keep you updated what happens as the day goes on. Yeah, cross-section of ages there too, isn't there? OK, Dan, we'll be coming back to you a little bit later. Thanks for the update. Daniel Hawkins there. Well, the protesters and the supporters also using the hashtag end austerity now. It's trending on uh, Twitter at the moment. News is rallying in London and posting hundreds of pictures to show how big that rally is and who's taking part, if you want to keep across it as well. Lindsay Ann German stood twice as candidate for the mayor of London. She told us why so many people, it seems, are eager to support the anti-austerity movement. What's happening is that people uh, who are dependent on state benefits, which is people, uh, generally people who are very poor, people who are disabled, people who are sick, people with children, people who can't afford to pay their rent, all of those people will be directly hit. But of course it's all going to affect uh, a much wider group of people. Inequality is greater now than it ever has been, even a hundred years ago. So we're saying that there should be a change of policy and let's take uh, money from the corporations, let's take money from the rich rather than from the people who really can't afford to give it. Well, you can uh, follow the rally by watching a live stream at rt.com. Our site also updates on the turnout are there as well.